good? No. Yeah, okay. Dennis, do you have one? No. Need one? I, I'd like to see one, yeah. Oh, is that cold? You must have been outside. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Brian Meany from Dickerson Meany, and Mary Beth Meany from Dickerson Meany. And tonight we're presenting a renewal proposal to the town. Uh, and in my letter to the town, uh, I was able to secure a proposal from NIMR, and also I was selected your current carrier. Uh, I did market the account to the Travelers Insurance Company. How uh, they declined it based upon the size of the population, and the premium was uh, well below their minimum of $120,000 for the municipality. Uh, for your review, I've also enclosed a seven year premium history uh, with Selective Insurance Company, and during that seven years, which is including this year, uh, the average premium uh, was $97,673 which was pretty much the same premium as it was back in like 2006. Uh, I know I have and I selected has tried to keep your costs down as far as they could. However, this year, uh, you will see an increase. Now, uh, just for your uh, for knowledge, uh, your public officials policy is on a claims made form. And if you decide to accept a different proposal, your policy will automatically uh, extend the reporting period of the claims made for one year. However, if you feel that is not enough or the company that you decide that you decide to change doesn't offer full prior acts coverage, then you can purchase a five year extension and that will cost 200% of the uh, premium from last year. That would be around $26,000 for that five year extension. You don't have to purchase it because you do have one year. And in many cases, uh, if another company uh, decides to, you know, decide to go with another company, they probably should uh, provide full prior acts. I know Selective did uh, when we uh, changed companies back in 19, uh, yeah, 2004, Selective offered the prior acts. So it's not uh, something that I, well, you won't know until you see some other proposals. But it's, there is a safety net here if you feel you need it. Sorry, before you look at that uh, letter there, could you explain to me that um, last sentence there and the next to the last paragraph that says um, the savings would be 2,125? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. For uh, 13,650 annual premium? That's correct. Uh, currently, your umbrella is 15 million per occurrence, 30 million aggregate. Um, most other programs, the maximum will offer is usually 10 million, 20 million. So if you wanted to reduce this, uh, put apples to apples, I guess, you could save $2,125 on your umbrella premium if you want to reduce your limits down to 10 million, 20 million. And then at the end, the premium for that would be $13,650. So what's the final figure? If you went to ten, if you went to ten twenty, it would be minus thirteen thousand six hundred. No, no, no twenty one twenty five. That's right. So where do you get the thirteen? That's the umbrella premium. That's what. Oh, that was that. That's 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 uh, for two years, uh, and they did have to take a rate increase. They filed these rates with the state of New York. Um, they're filed, and they have to use those rates. So that's those are the rates that they would use, not only for your municipality, but any other municipality in this territory. So Brian, while we go, just yeah. a quick question in between. Are these rates best based on experience, or what are they based on yeah. as we go down the rates? Schedule, so I understand why the increases or decreases or whatever. Yeah, the, the actuarials for the insurance companies, they're the ones that plug in the rates. Okay, from those rates, you can apply scheduled credits and/or scheduled debits. 
Um, and that's pretty much the judgment of the underwriter. Um, and obviously, obviously, with the rate increases, um, they don't tell us what they're applying. Okay. Um, and I can only say that they, when talking to my underwriter, she said that these rates are the rates in the, that are filed, and this is the premium that they will need to get. And I don't remember your package, it's your property rates, your general liability rates, and your automobile coverage. Um, no, no, but, but I, yes. I think the question is, okay. we're looking at a, a, an, in excess of a 10% increase for one year, and I'm just wondering if they're factoring any of the loss experience into that. They should be able to tell you that. I know how insurance works. Mm -hmm. uh, you take a, a number of factors and you factor them and then you come up with a premium. Right. When someone says, well, can you break down how you did it? They can't turn around and say, we're not going to tell you. Well, no, they did tell so me. They I said these are file rates with the state of New York. They, the company files the rates. I understand. And then the underwriter has to use those rates. They can't, they're not going to say to me, the town of Groshen's rates went up <coughs> because you had losses in property or you had losses in general liability, because obviously you didn't. So right. These are strictly, That's why I'm asking. I'm telling you, these are strictly filed rates with selective insurance company with the state of New York. So the state of New York says to selective, you're allowed to charge on this package 10% or 11% That's as an additional premium. I don't I know, it's, not a, it's not a true 10% on the package, GL and auto. No, I'm talking about okay. the total amount. I'm talking well, about we can't. buy all okay. the insurance. Right. Each section is different. The property, GL and auto have their own rating, which Okay. And I understand, but I'm looking at 98,000 last year and 108,000 this year. So, however you break it down, right. I'm looking at the total dollar amount, trying to understand. That's all. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a criticism. No, I'm just trying no. to understand. Let me try to go back. Let me, you know, talk okay. to my underwriter and see if she give me a little more specifics as to <coughs> what that. Yeah, why the 10 why, I mean, why, I'm surprised yeah. that you're not going to tell us. Yeah, why the 10? I mean, I'm surprised in in this economic day and age with all the problems we're having that the state would say to Selective, okay, you can raise your rates by 10%, even though the experience isn't bad. Maybe not only us, maybe across the board, mm -hmm. but all I'm asking for is, can we understand it? I'll try to get that for you. Thank you so much. Okay. That's all. Um, okay, and as you, as you go down, you can see your police uh, professional policy uh, is up, uh, approximately $1,000. Uh, your public officials, liability, it is up uh, uh, 2,200, <coughs> and everything else kind of remains a small interest. Yeah, but we're pursuing the same question that Phil asked. I'm just looking at the public officials where we've not had any problem. Yeah. Why would it go up $2,200 in one year? One thing with the public officials is your reinsurance. They have to go out. They don't. They don't fully insure. The, those policies. They go out and they have to buy reinsurance to protect them from catastrophic losses also. So the reinsurance can uh, can have an impact on that. Um, and probably uh, the public officials is much more, as far as premiums and such, is much more, I don't want to say secretive, but they really don't have any rhyme or reason as far as I know how they come up with these premiums other than that's what they come up with. Um, our ball. It's our I mean, ball. <laughs> uh, that's what you want to do, right? Okay. I mean, I'd like to give you a better answer on that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't, think yeah. I, I don't think I could. Okay. Same, with the, same with the police profession. Right. Um, well, I can see it with the police because yeah. we've had a lawsuit against the yeah. police department this past 12 months. True. And, and, but when it comes to public officials, we're lily white. <laughs> we've had no problems. Yeah. Well, there were there yeah. were six there were six claims in the public officials this year. Okay. Um, they were there was activity on them, all closed, no payment, but there was an assessment made for each to analyze each one. We got Woodland Estates, two Woodland Estates, ABC Orange, Amber Bartley, and Owens Road. So Owens Road, there is uh, expenses on that case of fifty five hundred dollars to defend um, and get out of it. And the other four cases um, were closed, no payment, but they still had some activity where an assessment of $850 is charged. But since they were not, we were not, for example, ADC, 
uh, Maplewood or everybody. Yeah. Why did why did we why did they even get a claim? Because we're not covered insurance in that particular. Uh, well, the town of Ocean was named. So. And the suit, so you have to report. So the response. You have to, you have to, to report, report that to the company because there might be something in. I'm sorry. There, there might sorry. be something in that lawsuit that which could trigger which might trigger coverage. And did they uh, did they name the public officials personally in these suits? No. So why well, this, this is for our, our personal public official protection. If we weren't named in it, these were corporate lawsuits and, and against the town. Yes. So well, it's not under your auto liability. It's not under your general liability. Yeah. We should be under it's the like general a, liability because no, it comes under general public, liability. It comes under public officials acting mm -hmm. in your capacity as a public official. You are still. But we weren't named in the suit. In yes, you were individually. You just the town. the town. The town. But you don't have to be named in individual public officials. You are part of the town. That's why you have the That's a councilman. You still represent the town of Goshen as a councilman. I know, but... They I can either... You know, I can't tell you why an uh, attorney... No, no, no. It's like a corporation. You sue the corporation. It's the corporation. If you sue the corporation and its officers, then the officers need representation. So, I mean, uh, well, these are just questions maybe oh, you no. can ask. The claim was against the town of Goshen, no one that. specifically. So, there's no coverage under the auto, there's no coverage under the general liability. That's right. why it was sent. But all our employees the, were not responsible for this. The town of Goshen includes many employees, including elected officials. So, none, that of that, none of us were named individually, and I thought that this coverage protected us if we were sued individually doing business on behalf of the town. Um, all right, I, I'll tell you so who the insureds are. Who is an insured under your policy? We, we the name insured shown in the declarations. All persons who were now or shall be lawfully elected, appointed, or employed officials for conduct while acting within the scope of their duties or on behalf of the name insured. Number two, lawfully appointed members of commissions, boards, or other units operated under your jurisdiction and within the appropriate uh, Appropriate of your total operating budget for conduct while acting within the scope of their duties for and on behalf of the named insured. Your employees for conduct while acting within the scope of their duties for and on behalf of the named insured. That's the town, town of Goshen. Five, number, any person providing right. volunteer? I know we're all protected under your policy, right. but so none of us were named in the suit, is what I'm saying. Our building inspector was not named. None of us were named, so we shouldn't have had to defend under that portion of well, the policy, us. Well, who would answer on your behalf? You can't answer that under the general liability. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, you it's can't. the town. I don't understand uh, well, why that doesn't go with the, the general way. liability. Well, well I think because that, in essence, I, I can see it, for example, with, uh, maybe it was Owens Road, where we had a lawsuit and named the town board. I mean, they're they're upset with the, the town, town board, board because of we right. things that we had done. Right. But these others, I mean, like anybody can sue us, I guess, but if, if they're not covered on the insurance and the decisions made that, that, that we're on our own, yeah. then I'm surprised that that would actually go into the, the rate right. structure. Exactly. If it the does. The difference yeah. is there was no specific occurrence or accident. Okay. That's what triggers coverage in your general liability. Okay. That's your general liability for BI, bodily injury, and property damage. There was no specific case. There was a claims made in this policy period okay. on behalf of the town of Goshen. So where charge coverage would have been triggered would have been in the public officials section of the policy. If you don't, you